In terms of the clock ticking, Femi, uh, uh, Matt, you've both talked about October the 31st as this deadline. But what is our deadline at the moment? Because uh, the Finnish Prime Minister has set another deadline following his talks with Emmanuel Macron, uh, Matt Kilcoin, of the end of September and saying, if we don't get proposals by then, then it's over. Well, I think that is political posturing on behalf of the Finnish Prime Minister. The, the, the 30th of September is an artificial political deadline set by Finland. In the normal political times, we'd be staring at this and wondering how on earth it came about. Uh, the, the fact that we're even discussing it is, is a little odd. The, re, the reason is that there are two major events. The first is the EU summit on the 17th and 18th of October, and then that final deadline of the 31st of October when um, Brexit, which is enshrined in law, is to, be, is to leave. Now, and also, of course, the Ben Bill depends depending on any, uh, any constitutional changes or any um, challenges in court, on the 19th of October a letter sent ask, formally requesting extension. Uh, the 30th of September is, a try and, is an attempt to try and bounce the British into a position on Brexit that comes up with uh, technical position papers that they then wish to rubbish and to push us into their political out preferred political outcome of, uh, of the, the whole of the backstop as currently is. Now, I think we're right to ignore that. I think we are right to say that, yes, there are technical papers in play, uh, but the real deadline exists on the 17th, 18th of October and the 31st of October when we Brexit. Yeah, and the UK government, Femi, saying we'll put forward our proposals as and when we're ready and when Brussels is willing to engage constructively on them. What's going on here? Because is there a fear from the Prime Minister? Do you think that if they play their cards too early, then it'll all be over? I'm sorry. Um, the solution to the Irish border is not some top secret issue. We're talking about finding a practical solution to a practical problem. How do you have products in, the nor in Northern Ireland which don't meet the rules of the EU and, and not have a risk that they get smuggled into the Republic of Ireland because they might be cheaper or not have the same taxes or, or tariffs on them? That requires a practical solution. Now, what that, the EU is looking for a practical solution. That's not some top secret Trump's card that you need to play at the last minute. That's something that if they had them, they would show them. No, that's exactly the same issue that the Republic of Ireland would have with the EU in the event of no deal, of which there is no advice published and which the EU has not come up with its solution for it, but it would cause within five weeks' time. And it hasn't come up with that because it, it thinks that there is a practical political solution, and we know that because there are discussions gone going behind the scenes. So yes, it is exactly right for the British government to try and push this, and yes, it is exactly right for them to do so without, be, without putting it into just so that you can rubbish it on air, Femi. This is a discussion at the highest level of government between the European Commission and the United Kingdom. So as usual, they're, they're, not, they're not publishing things because they want, they want to avoid scrutiny. It's typical of the government, to be honest. <laughs> okay, um, on that note, Femi, Matt, we will leave it there.